everyone, welcome back to Chia Chia Edu. Today we will be looking at Form 1 Science Chapter 9 Earth Part 2. After learning about the system and structure of the Earth in our previous video, today we are going to study about the composition of the Earth. Our Earth's crust is formed from various types of rocks. They differ in color, texture, and the way they are formed. They can also be categorized into three main groups, namely the igneous rock sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. To help us better understand the three types of rocks, let's look at this earth model here. So in the model, we have the mountain, rivers, and the sea. And our earth surface is actually mainly made up of the igneous rocks. Our earth suffers through some nature's process such as weathering and erosion. This includes rain, thunderstorms, snowing, and many more. And all this process, they will actually break down the igneous rocks on the surface. Then, the rocks will get transported by wind, by water, towards the ocean. As fragments of rocks get transported into the sea, they will be sedimented together with dead plants and organisms under the sea. This process will repeat and repeat over a long period of time, and the ocean bed will soon be covered by layers of rocks, dead plants, and dead animals. Due to compression, all of them will be compressed and pushed underground, which form sedimentary rocks after a very long period of time. Due to pressure from the land and the sea, the igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks they will be pushed further underground, and as they go deeper, they will suffer high pressure and high temperature from the underground. When this keeps up long enough, the rocks will actually undergo a process known as metamorphism, this will change them into metamorphic rocks. While all of the processes that we mentioned before are happening, more rocks will be pushed underground due to sheer pressure. And when they reach near to the mantle, they will suffer even higher temperature underground. At that time, the rocks will actually melt into magma. So due to the high heat of the magma, some of them will actually be pushed towards the ground. And in the process, they will cool and crystallize and slowly falls to the surface, which forms igneous rocks on our surface. On the other hand, some of the magma they will actually found a hole and escape through the Earth's surface through the volcanic eruption process. When lava shoots up from the volcano, they will cool and finally become igneous rocks once again. So in the end, some of you might have noticed already, this is actually a rock cycle. Now, let us do a quick recap on what actually happened in the rock cycle. We will start from the igneous rocks, and after nature's process of wearing and erosion, they will be broken down into small pieces and fragments known as sediment. Then, the sediment after deposition and compression, they will form into sedimentary rock. As igneous rocks and sedimentary rock get pushed underground, they will suffer high pressure and high temperature, they will go through metamorphism and form metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock get pushed further underground towards the mantle, they will meet extremely high temperature and then melts into magma. Please note that this will happen the same to the igneous rocks and sedimentary rock if they get pushed underground as well. Finally, as magma get pushed towards the surface or erupted to through volcano, they will cool and finally return to igneous rocks. Under certain special circumstances such as the earthquake, metamorphic rocks and sedimentary rock can actually get pushed towards the surface before they melt into magma. At that moment, those rocks can actually suffer through weathering and erosion and change into sediment and then form sedimentary rock again. Nonetheless, you know that actually all the rocks undergo a same cycle between igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rock. To further simplify what we learned in a rock cycle, I've actually prepared this table down below. Let's look at the first one, igneous rocks. So they are formed from the process of cooling and freezing of magma and lava in the crust or the surface of the earth. And mainly we need to look at the characteristics. These igneous rocks are actually hard, shiny, and they does not contain layers because they are fresh out on the surface of the earth. So they usually does not contain fossils as well. Examples are basalt, granite, and rhyolite. 
Next, let us look at sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock, they are formed from the deposition and compression of the dead plants and animals on the ocean floor for a very, very long period of time. So looking at the characteristics, they will be layered without crystals and often they will contain fossils because they are formed together with the dead organisms. So examples are limestone, sandstone and shale. Finally, let us look at the metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed from igneous and sedimentary rocks that have gone through chemical processes which are the metamorphism under high pressure and high temperature underground. Due to the metamorphism process, they will form extremely hard, smooth, light-colored and water-resistant stones. Examples of metamorphic rocks are quartzite, marble and gneiss. As we come to the end of topic 9.2, Composition of the Earth, so here are some pictures of what the igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks looks like on our Earth. Enjoy! This brings us to the end of our lesson today. As usual, I've prepared some revision notes in the Google Drive. You can look for the download link below and do revision on your own. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Bye!